I'm Kip. Uh, my name's Will Payden. Hi, my name's Tom Walklow. I'm a guide here at Points North. My name's Jim Fritch. I'm John Morrison. Uh, my name's Tal Fletcher. My name's Jason Mack. My name's Matt Meinhold. My motivation to be here is driven by skiing in the mountains. I love the challenge of guiding people in the big mountains up here. We meet people from all over the world, all over the country, in all ages, shapes and sizes. I enjoy the challenge of finding new stuff to do, new stuff to take people to, um, new runs to ski, new things to do when we can't ski. Um, everyone that comes here and they see us at first, I think they're scared for their lives. I really do. I Honestly though, I think when people show up, they don't know what to make of us. They probably think we're insane. Sometimes when clients show up on the first day, they, they can't tell who the guides are, um, whether it's the shuttle drivers, the fuel, fuelers, or the cooks. Uh, everybody treats the clients the same way, and a lot of times it's hard for uh, the clients to even know who's who. Everybody who works here is kind of chosen by everybody else who works here. Part of being a guide is being able to bring people who have never been in a situation like this before and make them feel safe. You know, if you go out there with no respect for these mountains, they're going to spank you. Um, but if you have lots of respect and you, and you ski it wisely with a good attitude, then you will probably survive. Um, but if you have a bad attitude in these mountains, the mountains will get you. You know, everybody comes up here to ski the big lines. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is figure out what exactly they think the biggest lines are. Well, I guess it doesn't matter what attitude you come with. I think once you're in the mix of things, you're going to have a good attitude. Every time you go out there, you don't know what you're going to run into, and you, you know, push new limits. You... It's definitely not the, the safest job in the world, uh, but it is a very rewarding job. It's incredible. It's really easy to show people a good time here. Uh, being a heli ski guide is the greatest job that you could have in the world. Um, nothing better than getting the opportunity to lead friends and clients down some of the most amazing uh, mountains for skiing in the world as well. It's, uh, it's a dream job. Um, I started coming here 10 years ago and um, first year I knew I'd probably come back here the rest of my life just for purely for the love of it. There's, no, there's nowhere better. The skiing brought me here and the summers made me stay. It's, it's interesting, you know, because because the way we attack the mountains here, you know, it's, we do it as a group. And, and guiding with these other guys, you know, like Will and Tom and J-Mac and Quinter and Kip and John Morrison, you know, all these guys, I ski with them and I know them so well that I know if something happens, I'm gonna have one of my bros, somebody that I've skied with with over 10 years is gonna be helping me out or I'm gonna be helping them out. Guiding anybody from carpenters and plumbers to doctors and lawyers to you know rock star athletes in the industry to you know famous photographers. Well the Points North experience is, is different than, than any of the other Valdez Heli experiences or, or Girdwood anywhere in Alaska because we have a, a, a tight-knit group of, of guides and, and our staff. Everyone's close friends. We all live together in Lake Tahoe. Come up here and spend a few months. Uh, Taking people out for a good time. Skiing. Skiing powder snow. This is the, the top of the heap as far as I'm concerned. It's great, you know, we get great we get the best snowboarders in the world and we get we get some people that all they can barely do is is turn, you know, and they just all they want to do is just cruise down some easy glaciers. We've got, you know, superstar skiers like Ken Kreitler and Micah Black. And then we've got, you know, your everyday Joe who comes from Wall Street. The two months that we're up here kind of fill the rest of your year with, you know, memories and, you know, on those hot summer days when you don't feel like working anymore, you can daydream about heli skiing. So my motivation is to uh, kind of satisfy the rest of the year. First, first off is to make sure that everyone makes it home safely. Second, make sure everyone has a good time, has lots of fun and uh, experiences all that the Chugach has to offer. It's a pretty amazing place.